a lot of people think should have met some seven years ago when Floyd Patterson was champion of the world, Henry Cooper was angling for the world title shot, but Brian London stepped in instead and took it, and Floyd Patterson stopped him in 11 rounds, KO'd him at Indianapolis. Now they come out for round one, two popular characters, known as nice guys throughout the boxing world. Two left hookers, this has been called the battle of the left hookers. Both of them, their last opponent was Cassius Clay, both of them lost inside the distance, but both of them great performers and with a terrific record behind them. <laughs> Strange enough, the pair of them are reputedly slow starters, both of them inclined to take two or three rounds before they really get into their stride and style. Both of them vicious with the left hook. Cooper, of course, the British champion prone to cuts. Patterson alleged to have something of a glass chin. Well, that, though that's not borne out by the record books, he's taken punishment on the chin. He's usually getting up, or when he's cut it out or stopped, he's only been cut it out twice. That was against Sonny Liston. Patterson with the left hook into the body there to hurt Cooper. Patterson, that famous peekaboo style, those gloves up in front of his face. First round of this international heavyweight contest. Cooper wary as usual. Not being rushed into any foolish moves. Patterson, those gloves held up aloft, that peekaboo style, that famous pattern peeping from behind the gloves, and suddenly lashing out. Solid one. Patterson just blinks and then comes in with the left hand himself, but Cooper quick to take evasive action. Both these characters considered the first gentlemen of the ring in their respective countries. Just out of range that effort to get Cooper's chin. And of the first. Henry Cooper fighting back well there, the British and Empire heavyweight champion. 32 years old and coming up for the record in November he will have held the British title longer than any other boxer and he's determined to do just that great character he'll have beaten Bombardier Billy Wills record of seven years ten months and three days if he holds on to that title to November and it looks at the moment as though he's going to do that because it seems that uh, he's pretty unbeatable on the British scene uh, Floyd Patterson the peekaboo left hook specialist, Floyd Patterson, of course, the, the boy who is perhaps underrated by the fancy these days in boxing because he has made boxing history, the first man to regain the title, and he won it when he was 21, the youngest ever boxer to win any weight champions of the world, and still going strong. Round two of this international heavyweight contest here at Wembley. coming in there very neatly. Oh, this is a 
couple of chances been long awaited in boxing. The big question is, does Cooper Tuck, does his eyebrows burst again as they did in those two ill-fated fights against Clare? Or will Patterson take that same Henry Zammer on the chin? Patterson, a great hit and run specialist, boxing first. Quite content to move around, use the ring, and then suddenly come in with combination punching, and then just as quickly dive away again. Neatly tied up by Cooper that time as he tried to come in and be first to the punch. Patterson in his world championship days was always known as a very fast boxer, very spry on his feet. Although he had this afflicted with this back injury when he fought Clay. No sign of it now. And Cooper considered no slouch, matching him for speed here tonight. Second round of this international heavyweight contest here on the Harry Levine promotion of Wembley. Right. End of the second. Well, Floyd Patterson, who, as I told you, became the youngest ever champion when he was 21 years of age at Chicago in 1956. That was when he KO'd Archie Moore, the good old ageless Archie, in five rounds for the heavyweight champion of the world, who was vacant then after Marciano had retired. He defended it successfully four times. Cooper here, of course, has fought for the championship of the world against Cassius Clay, and he had that memorable battle at Wembley Stadium with Clay before Clay was world champion. That was the time when he cut badly in the fourth round and then at the end of the fourth dumped Clay on his pants and almost put him out. The bell saved him. When he came out with the fifth, Cooper went gallantly on for a minute or so but his eye was too badly cut and it was stopped. But his last fight with Clay still of course lingers in the memory of a great contest. He may really make Clay go. Both of these characters out to get in there again with Blade. Both of them convinced they can beat Castle Stone.
go and referee work Wally Tom tells them to break, they do instantly. Both great reputation for clean fighters, fine sportsmen. Super trying desperately hard to be first in the punch, but Patterson a little too quick there. Cooper just got inside the left hook in time. They're both boxing as though they're absolutely in their prime. Henry Cooper did well there to recover from that look, left hook. He took a really hard one, as you saw in the closing stages of that round, and came up like a good one. But this is the danger. Both of these blokes punched desperately hard with that left hook, viciously hard. And although we think with Cooper the danger is split eyebrows, well, if Patterson catches him like that again, he could go with a straight knockout on the chin because Patterson can also dig with that left hand. Floyd Patterson here has defended the title successfully when he won it from Archie Moore against Tommy Jackson, Pete Rademacher, Roy Harris, and our own Brian London, who stepped in in place of Henry Cooper way back in 1959. Then, of course, he lost the title to Ingo Johansson and won it back from him. Fourth round, now can Floyd Patterson follow up where he left off? Jim the Bishop Wicks and Danny Holland done their stuff for Cooper. He seems fully recovered. Again, that good grip one. Patterson leaping forward down his old style. He used to do this. Stands a bit square and suddenly leaps forward. He's confident now. He's dropped Cooper twice, seeking to get the third and payoff punch on that chin. Cooper's got a cut on his nose, the right side of his nose. No danger there. That's no worry. Wow, 
Miller we've been raving about the battle of the left hookers and Patterson caught Cooper a couple of times with that feature of the left hook but what a right hand as he finally dropped him with there's his brother Ray Patterson going over the corner with him Floyd Patterson this introspective character who's been seeking to convince himself as much as the rest of the world that he's been one of the truly greats in the heavyweight ranks he vowed that if he lost this one he would quit the ring got a big offer from a toy manufacturer who worked for him there he is Floyd Patterson the youngest man to win the world championship the only man ever to defy the old maxim they never come back and win back the world championship and there's Cooper getting that blooded nose wiped now apparently none the worse that was Patterson's 49th pro contest. He's won 43, only had five defeats. A great win for Floyd Patterson. It was a, a brave battle while it lasted, Henry. How do you feel? It was choked, naturally, but uh, anyway, he won well. It was the right hand that finally did it. You know? Yes, yeah. So, did this surprise you? It surprised me because you oh, had no, a couple of good left hands. It was a combination, per se. It didn't show Guam, anyway. Well, this is characteristic, isn't yeah. it, Jim? Yeah. Yeah. Told him to the left hook first. No, the right hand. Good whatever he done, anyway. But you were yeah. doing well until this happened. Well, right? I felt quite like good up to him, anyway. Did, did you feel he was punching heavier than you? Because you rocked him once Not time. really. It's, that was the first one that, uh, I say, once he... Sure. Obviously, you don't feel it, but, uh, mm. Mm. It was a good one. And it was a good um, fight, too. Well, now, what happens? You go on and defend your British title, Henry. Oh, yeah, most I wish so. You know, we've all my no Democrats. Well, um, we're yes, still going on. We're still out to get that yeah. record from Bombardier Billy World, Jim, yeah? Yes, and we want to, we're also fighting in the world. Good. Well, anyway, well done, and it was great while it lasted. Well, thank you. Pretty it ended that way. Well, it's a game. What can you do? Well, no things, are we in the game? Well done. Yeah. Well, congratulations on your win. What do you think about it? Right. Well, the only thing is, I'm a bit sorry that Henry cut. I had hoped that I would be able to get through this start without him cutting. However, I thought he could have played jolly well, It was only fight. a cut on the nose, Floyd, wasn't it? I couldn't tell. It looked like the eye of him. No, it was a cut on the nose. He cut him. But these were punches on the chin you caught him with. Yes. What do you think of him as a fighter? I think he's a tremendous fighter. He has a lot of heart, a lot of guts, and a lot of determination. Those kind of fighters I admire. Did he hurt you at all? Well, uh, not seriously, but he did catch me a few times that sort of stunned me, yes. Were you surprised at his speed, George? No, I wasn't. I've seen him fight a couple other times. And anyway, it was a great contest and it's a good win for you. What happens now? Well, I hope I'm one step for what catch is play. Yeah, well, all the best. Thank you. Heavyweight champion of the world has just heard what Floyd Patterson has said, and I don't assume that you're struck down at the moment by mortal terror. No, not really, Howie, but I am surprised that uh, he beat Henry Cooper. As a matter of fact, uh, I had my mind set from the way Henry Cooper fought me. He fought much faster than the fight the fans uh, just witnessed. He moved uh, fast on his feet. He really circled the ring. He was hard to hit. But um, I figured he would beat Floyd, and mainly knock him out with his hard left hook, but Floyd really surprised me. And I would say he is on the comeback trail, and as he said, he hopes he's another step closer to the title, and I'm, I'm the champion, and I'm here to say that he is another step closer. And if he can look impressive and keep winning and get the fans and the public behind him and want to see him in again, I'll meet him. All right, we'll get to that in more specific detail a little bit later on. What I do want to get to is some slow motion and some stop action of the keynotes of the fight. And let's do that together with you analyzing voiceover right after this message. Mohammed, the first turning point of the fight came in the third round. Let's view that action first in slow motion, then in stop action with you talking voiceover as Patterson decks Henry Cooper for the first time, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, it's gonna be your ball to carry. Well, they're both dancing around now, I guess waiting for the other one to strike. Patterson just hit him with two solid left hooks and it looked like a right hand, but I don't think he threw the right hand, but the two hooks did the trick.
the blow, the key left hook. That's one of the left hooks, yes. I don't know if it's the first or the second, but it is a left hook. All right. That was, I think, the beginning of the end, really, for Cooper. Off what you saw, don't you think so? Uh, as far as this fight's concerned, yeah. yes. But I heard him say after the interview that he's still going to box as far as uh, defending the British title is concerned. He's going to fight Mildenberger, no question about it. All right. Let's move ahead, Muhammad, to the fourth round and that first series of combinations that decked Cooper for the second time and laid him open to the final and decisive knockout. And there it is. I can't remember what he hit him with, but I'm waiting like you to see what it was. You'll see it. It begins with a left hook. Well, there are some people in England, Muhammad, feel that Patterson fought the way he did in June of 1960 when he demolished Joe Hansen at the polo. Well, he is, uh... There it is. That was a right left hand, a left lead. He pushed that left lead in on him. He led with the right and followed up with the left. That's right. So, yeah. All right. That's unusual punching box in the lead with a right and then knock a man out with a left, you know. You've done that. You've led with a right. You've not knocked anybody out with a left, but you've led with right. a right. Oh, many times, yes. You understand that your own punch is totally suspect in this country. Now. Yes. <laughs> You're going to prove otherwise in the future, I Well, we'll just do the best, how we? <laughs> All right, let's move ahead then with slow motion action of the final and decisive knockout blow. Patterson against Henry Cooper. I think he surprised you in this fight with his yes, punching power. He really did. I picked Henry Cooper to win the fight. That just without said. a doubt, because of the way he fought me. He was really desperate and determined and moving fast. And I figured he would be too fast and strong for Floyd. As you can see, he's taller than Floyd. And uh, he's really a good boxer. That was the right that quickly the fans got a glimpse of. And he spun him over mm -hmm. right onto his face. And that one really did the trick because Cooper didn't get up. He tried to, but he fell back down, as you will see. Meaning that that was really a hard punch. And I think this really uh, helps Floyd as far as coming back is concerned because I couldn't knock out any Cooper. Well, that's I the key the point. That's yeah. the key point the public, I think, wants the answer to. How come Patterson could so cleanly and decisively knock this man out? You went against him twice, twice. and both times it was cuts. I only one on cuts, yes. That's why I say Patterson is a threat to the title, and this really will help him to come back because he uh, knocked out a man that I didn't knock out. Hmm. But I still don't understand why you couldn't knock Cooper out. As well, I'm, not, as I'm in Howard to win. If I see a knockout, I'll take it. All I plan on doing is to retire unmarked and unscratched and with a good mind and this is all I go in for and if I can knock him out of will if I can I'll settle for decision and so far uh, no one who do have a punch can beat me all right we'll find out more about that in November when you face Cleveland Williams because he's That's got right. a punch he's got a punch he hits awful hard and uh, if he can find something to hit me with then his punch will work now, constancy of movement and circling to the left steadily has always been your style. Erroneously, I suspect you changed that against Mildenberg and moving to your right, right into a southpaw. Are you going to revert against Williams to what has been your style ever since the first Liston fight? That's right. I'll have to then because he'll be a, you know, right-hand fighter like me. Mm -hmm. So I will circle to my left. Assuming you beat Williams, I take it you'll be fighting Terrell. Right after that, we can't announce the exact date or time because we haven't established one yet, or we really don't know. But according to how I feel after the Williams fight, if my hands are not hurt, if I'm not really too tired, I've been going regular, as you know. This will be my fifth fight this year. And if I'm all right, we will fight. For sure, we will fight uh, Ernie Terrell next. So that Patterson, who just looks so good to so many people, has a long way to perform. Well, I would say it's possible he could be after Ernie Terrell, which would be about maybe six months at the longest. Assuming your military status is unchanged. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, champ, thank you so much for coming Same by. you. And as I hold your hand, this is still swollen and sore. Well, yes, this is a little swollen and just a little pain is in it, but the doctor have okayed it for the fight with Williams in Houston, Texas, November the 14th, mm -hmm. but it'll soon be straight. All right, we'll find out about that too on right. November 14th Thank at you. the Astrodome. Thank you.
So the story of Patterson and Cooper in the immediate future of the heavyweight champion of the world, his views of Floyd Patterson as he fought the fight against Henry Cooper. Now let's shoot back to Bill Fleming at Darlington, South Carolina for the thrilling wind-up of the Southern 500. We'll do that immediately after this message.